Hello everyone, I am Dr. Abhishek Samdesi. I am a pulmonologist and I have done my MD respiratory medicine. And today I'll be demonstrating on how to use a proper inhaler technique. Most often, the inhalers are prescribed to patients with obstructive airway disease like asthma or COPD. Most often in the clinical practice, the patients who are given inhaler use the inhaler directly without any spacer. So what happens when the patient use an inhaler without a spacer is most of the drug gets deposited in the oral cavity. So today, I'll be demonstrating on the proper inhaler technique via a spacer. There are two ways of using the spacer and inhaler. One is the breath holding and other is the tidal volume breathing which I will demonstrate. This is a meter dose inhaler and this is a spacer. Now I shall demonstrate the technique. The first thing that has to be done is to take the inhaler and shake it thoroughly for almost 10-20 seconds so that the drug that is there gets adequately mixed and you don't have to inhale the preservative. The next step is to connect the inhaler to the spacer. Make sure it is connected properly. Prefer a spacer which has a unidirectional valve at the mouth end. Hold your thumb below the inhaler and press it firmly. What happens is the drug gets trapped inside the spacer. The next step that you are supposed to do is to exhale completely and Hold the spacer in your mouth and seal your lips firmly around the mouthpiece. After that, you are going to take a deep inhalation and hold the breath and count for at least 10 seconds and then exhale via your nose. Inhale via your mouth, hold the breath, count 10 seconds and exhale via your nose. The drug which I have pressed is already in the spacer and now let me demonstrate how it is done. Repeat this about three to four times. If your doctor advise two puffs, the second puff will be taken after three cycles of this is completed. So going for the second puff, again I am just going to press it once. Once three cycles of each puff is completed, you can remove the inhaler and then you are supposed to rinse your mouth with water, gargle and spit it out. Do not swallow the medicine. The medicine is supposed to be delivered to your lung and not to your stomach. The spacer has to be washed regularly, preferably daily at the end of the day. The spacer can be dismantled and washed thoroughly with lukewarm water and left to dry and you can again reassemble the spacer. For patients who are unable to hold the breath for a long duration, there is another alternative which is the tidal breath method. Here what they are supposed to do is, they are supposed to, after pressing the inhaler, they are supposed to hold the spacer in their mouth, they are supposed to inhale via mouth and exhale via nose. The first thing that you are supposed to do is shake the inhaler properly. Then place the inhaler into the spacer. The spacer has a filter, so no need to keep it in mouth every time. And hold it, press. So this is how it is done. 
So these are two different methods of actually using a inhaler with spacer and after every use you are supposed to rinse your mouth gargle and spit out the water and not drink it and wash your spacer regularly so these are the two methods of using inhaler and spacer in case you have any queries do let me know in the comments below and have a great day thank you